This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD <laughs> here in Liverpool with a local lass. Yeah. What are you doing down here, April? Olivia, I'm April, you're on us. <laughs> yeah, for about eight months now, nine months now. Uh, obviously, I'm just here at supporting team at Linsmith, so that's why I'm here. Good man. Can you tell for those that don't know, can you tell the story of the Tony Bell you link up and what actually brought you down here? Um, well, to be honest, uh, I moved down here to, to move to the Rotunda chain with Joseph McNally and Declan O'Rourke, my coaches, and um, Joe's good friends with Tony, and, and that's how the Tony Belly link up happened. So. And how are you finding it? Uh, it's good, mate, right? it's good. Killer question, better than Newcastle? Uh, I love home, do you know what I mean? But you've got to make sacrifices. If I, you get one shot at this boxing a lot, and I think, like, I don't believe there's level coaches in Newcastle that, that, that are not on the level that it's down here. So, if you're like, I'm going to go, I've got better sparring down here. I'm, I'm an hour away from my good friend Savannah. I've got, yeah, I've got other people, Chantel Cameron, I'm going to be sparring with. And I can't really get back, can I? And if I'm in Newcastle, I won't be getting that. I know, because you're a proper, a proper lass as we'd say up north. <laughs> Do, does this keep you calm and away from being a bit more of a nutcase than you, you usually are? Yeah, well, it's just away from distractions and right. friends. And obviously, I've got friends down here, but I'm down here for, for, for work, really. At all. I'm, never, I'm just there. Uh, I'm really taking everything seriously. This this next 12, 18 months of my career is going to be pivotal. Like, at the end of this 18 months, I'm going to be touching on for titles. So, some big things to be coming out soon. So. I'll keep that myself for now, but uh, I genuinely think like this next year is the most important year of my life. Absolutely. You've obviously moved down here, that shows you your focus. Is that a reflection of just how far you want to go? Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, it's not hard for three and a half hours away from your friends, your family. Um, but like I say, I get one shot at this and I, and I love boxing. I genuinely love boxing. Like, I would, I'd give up everything for it and a half. So, I'll, uh, and I'm already starting to reap the reward, so yeah. the best yet to come. You said there's a fight coming up and you can't say too much, but can you give us a clue about level or is it a title or where is it? Nah, nah no, it'll be some six rounders coming up, a couple, but uh, it's a good thing, it's a good thing, so. Is it on a card that we've n we know about? I'm not saying nothing. Can't me. say, me, <laughs> me, but, storm, but uh, I'll not push. Uh, yeah, just, <laughs> it, I can't speak about anything at the minute, so there's a few things going on in the background, but it's all good news, all great news. Brilliant. Uh, April, I can't speak to you without talking about Newcastle yes. a few weeks ago. A, your performance, and B, you <laughs> leading the crowd in a sing song. <laughs> that was a bit mental, wasn't it? Honestly, God, nah. We, we, we go to the place, we went, go out there, milk the crowd. I was just playing my gun there, just tapping my badge. And then the song came on, and I just started singing. And oh, best night of my life, mate. None of it was planned. I just heard the crowd and just, just, just went with it. Like, yeah, it's actually worked out not too bad, so. Are you glad the crowd joined in? Because she would have looked right lemon if they hadn't. <laughs> I wouldn't have been asked. I'm not. I'm a kind of person. I'm not bothered. So, and I'm uh, like, I've got thick skin. <laughs> I don't care singing. <laughs> and obviously Savannah was up there, and we, we interviewed Savannah on the night. Yeah. And she said she was dead jealous of you. What, what was it like to fight in front of the crowd? It's unbelievable, mate. Honestly, the atmosphere was electric. Um, Newcastle fans, man, there's nothing like it. Uh. it. Really isn't nothing like it. And I think 9,000 Geordies, even though there's only a thousand there. I've been in the, the, the big arena when. Yeah. Which was like Robbie Davies and wow, mate, it's, uh, it's something special, like absolute lunatics. But I love them. We're second to none, aren't we? Uh, we're all second to none, mate. I firmly believe that there's no support like it. There isn't. So, uh, look forward to some more big nights of home. Damn right. I was, that, that was the last question. You can't tell us much about your next fight, but when you get to the level you want to be, do you want a title fight at home? Oh, Would that yeah. be a dream? I know we've asked you about St James's Park before when Lawsy was with you, <laughs> and you said as long as it's not the stadium alight. <laughs> I wouldn't be there, no, like, to be fair, no, I wouldn't, like, I definitely wouldn't, but, um, yeah, mate, title fight is a thing that I, I think I want, I want another two, two, two fights before the end, that's the, that's the plan, me and my team, get out, get out again before Christmas, and, um, just push on to, to, into 2022, and as soon as we're hitting the 10 fight mark, mate, that's when we're going to start pushing on for titles. Yeah, we'll come wait to see you out, we'll keep an eye. <laughs> April Hunter, always a pleasure. Thank you very much, Take care. I appreciate that, right? This is Eddie Hearn and you are watching Boxing UK.